Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is is an Apple Vision Pro solo knit band in small. Um, as you probably know, the Vision Pro isn't here in the UK yet unless you import one. And I've been silly and imported one of these with the help of Chris over at, at Is It Any Good? Um, he does a lot of reviews on strange and wonderful candies and crisps or chips as he calls them. Um, very interesting and a very unusual way of doing it, but it's funny watching what he comes up with and, quite frankly, makes you wonder why don't we don't get lots of wonderful different flavours over here. Anyway, this I need to get out of the box, which I shall do now. This slides out. Get the box out of the way, get these tabs out of the way. Da-da-da-da! And it all come very apparent, especially if you've already read the title. Why I've got this, it's because I have a Quest 3. And I've already got the 3D printed parts, which I'll give links to. I didn't design them, I'm not into doing that. Um, <laughs> mainly because my 3D printer's not working. But anyway, um, I will put links to everything. Links to this, links to... Chris's channel links to um, this, which you may have noticed it allows you to wear the Quest 3 without the whole front place if you want it to be more like a Pro instead. Um, this is what I normally use for the back strap of it. This hooky bit actually comes with this, um, and it just makes it easier to click it on and off and everything. Especially if you do it that way around, the info for it explains to do it the other way, but uh, I like this. You may have noticed there's some Velcro on the back, and the reason why there's Velcro is because I have this as my charging battery for it, which is an Anker 10,000 um, milliamp hours. You can use this to charge with, or to charge an object with, or you can use these as to charge as well. So I've got soft Velcro on here and hard Velcro on the back of the other strap so it all works out. The reason why I've got it like this um, is because I want this to be my AR setup and I'll click these off and I'll put the other front plate on which you've seen before um, and that strap that you've just seen and I'll have that as my uh, VR bit, so I'm like in there, I can't see anything else apart from the VR, whereas if I'm watching a movie or I'm playing an AR game or something, I can, you know, see around me, or even if I can do it the other way as well, I can put the full, plate, the full faceplate on and have cinema mode as well, so the fact that there's only me in there. Um, what you need, of course, is an extension cable, because the... This is too short before I'm reaching from the back round to the side. You may have noticed there's already something sticking out there. That's because I've got a 100 watt um, extension USB-C cable. You can see. And in this little magnetic thing, it's uh, basically around £22 for two of these. So these are kind of expensive. It says USB 4 on it, which you may see if I hold it up and... On a glare, come on. There we go, USB 4. Um, I don't actually have a USB 4 device at the moment, but the point is, is that this is classed as 240 watts, which I'm sure people are screaming at the screen right now, saying, you don't need that much. I know I don't, but if I use the USB 2 magnetic um, connector, it might melt this. I've seen people melt USB Oh, sorry, the USB, the Meta 2, Meta Quest 2, I've seen them melt that. So this is well over the odds on when it comes to wattage. So it means though that I can have that plugged into there and that reaches around on there and I'm sure I'll come up with some way of uh, using a cable tidy to make sure it does stay tidy. But even so though, what I'll have is that on my back, I'll have this for the battery um, because there's nowhere else to stick it when it's in when it's in this mode. So 
So let's get this on here anyways. Now this is the small version because oh for the life of me I've forgotten his YouTube channel but I will link to it. He talks about techie stuff and everything. Um, and he recommended that you get a small one when it comes to doing for the, this Quest 3 mod. Um, whereas a medium sized one with the wheel at Vision Pro is probably a good idea. He seems to be 6'2 or something like that. And um, well, I'm not six foot, let's put it that way, but I'm not, uh, I'm like 5'11 ish. Um, so here we go, we can tighten it up or we can make it bigger. Doesn't really look it there, but what it really does is pull in this orange thread on both sides and makes it tighter. The reason why I wanted a small one anyway was because um, either myself or my missus will be wearing it. My missus is closer to five foot two than she is six foot two, so a smaller size one makes sense for her when we're, you know, having a bit of a VR session and killing zombies and whatnot. It makes it only sense that one size fits all sort of thing. Apart from that, there's not really much else to talk about. The fitness of it, let's make it full size. Let's see how well I like it on fitting. I realize you don't get to see, but I never show my face on this channel anyway. At least I try not to, it all depends on reflections. Yep, that's really nice. I can tighten it up. The headset's resting on my nose. I can feel that it's getting pulled in at the back of my head. But it's comfy, it's not tight, it's resting on my nose like, I don't know, maybe a heavy pair of glasses. Um, maybe I need to move that around a little bit. Oh, there we go. Just means getting it just right for yourself. Yep. Oh, the one thing I want to point out with these particular ones, the guy that's designed these different ones, he's uh, made a few different designs, but... This one has it so that you can have a strap going through and over the top if you feel like it could do a bit more support. I may well do that at a later date. I might steal this one off of here since it's just Velcro. And I realise it's lopsided but it doesn't really matter. You just need a bit of padding across the top of your head. Or I might find another head strap that does the same thing. Really... Oh yes, the other thing that I've got with this is um, a 3 meter 100 watt cable, which is USB-C at both ends, um, just because that's what I happen to have. But it means I can plug it into here on the battery, take this magnetic thing off, put it on there, and it means I can have the same sort of setup as the Vision Pro does, with the way that it does its battery if I'm sat watching movies or something. So. You know, so the battery sits next to me on the sofa. I hope that gives you some idea of what you can do. I'm sure other people have already made videos on this already in America, but hopefully I'm the first person in the UK to be doing it. I think it's worthwhile, even the point of import. It cost, um, how much did it cost in UK pounds? Yeah, because it was around $110 just to get to Chris's house. Um, and then... It cost a fair bit to get it across here for postage, and then it was twenty. Uh, what was it twenty? I think it was twenty-five pound, twenty-seven pound for import tax. So it does get quite pricey. You're not going to get much change out of one hundred and fifty pound. Um, time you just get this strap arriving, but there is no other option at the moment that seems to be doing this. It may be worthwhile waiting until it gets to the shops here in the UK. If you have any questions, let me know. If I've forgotten to put um, links to certain things, let me know. I'll add them to the description. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs down, thumbs up, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Spread the word. But as always, happy gaming.